क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट इज गिवेन सी एच टू जी सी एच टू जी इज अ कॉम्पाउंड इट्स डायपल मोमेंट टू डी बाई एंटी फॉर्म ऑफ दिस कॉम्पाउंड दैट मोल फ्रैक्शन मोल फ्रैक्शन इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव वट इज द डायपल मोमेंट ऑफ गॉच फॉर्म म्यू ऑफ गॉच फॉर्म यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वॉन्ट टू राइट इट्स गॉच फॉर्म इट्स एंटी फॉर्म एंड आदर कॉन्फॉर्मेशन कॉन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस कॉम्पाउंड वी नो this is called anti form this is called gauch form and another form it is called eclipsed form but we are not concerned about eclipsed form because as it is extremely unstable least stable its percentage very low negligible so whatever is the dipole moment its contributions is nothing it does not contribute to this molecule and if we go for gauch form and anti form as in anti form All are opposite side same groups. The net dipole moment of anti form is zero, whereas Gauch form it is polar because dipole moment it has some definite dipole moment. Some mu will be there. Now we have to frame one equations how it can be. it is given what are the informations given if anti form mole fractions mole fractions of anti form if it is given 0.75 mole fractions of gauch form it will be 0.25 because our assumption is it is for mole fractions negligibly small we are saying it is zero assuming it is zero so if we write mu of gauge form and mole fractions of gauge form plus mu of anti form and mole fractions of anti form that is the overall dipole moment of the molecules and that is nothing but 2d by but already we said anti form mu is zero so this molecule dipole moment generates arises because of the gauch form and if gauch form dip mole fraction is 0.25 then we can write 0.25 0.25 multiplied by mu is nothing but 2d by and mu of gauch form is coming and it is nothing but 8d by so if this molecules exist in entirely in gauch form then it will be 8d by its dipole moment will be 8d by and if 25% exist in gauch form then its dipole moment becoming 2 d by so the answer is 8 d by section 4 question number 5 starting compound given one alkyl halides allowed to react alcoholic kwh number of possible alkenes 
that is the question. First of all, this is example of E2 mechanism where HBr is removed and is it also called dehydrohalogenation. And here Br is removed from alpha and from beta hydrogen is removed. This is also examples of beta elimination also 1 comma 2 elimination. This means from alpha halogen is removed, from beta hydrogen is removed. And as there are three different type of beta hydrogen present, so different alkenes will be formed. It is a single step mechanism and the possible alkenes are. For examples, we are considering beta A, beta, beta hydrogen removed. We consider beta hydrogens removed, then the product becomes this, double one will be developed here and product is this. This alkene shows GI because groups are different, these two groups and these two groups. So, as it shows GI, two products possible, one is having E orientations, one is having Z orientation. Now, if we go for removal of beta dash hydrogen, then again the alkene form will be this, which again shows geometrical isomerism. And if one double bond shows geometrical isomerism, two products possible, one having E orientations, one having Z orientation. If we go for removal for beta double dash hydrogen, then product will be this, but we said this double bond does not show GI. So, here one product possible. So, total alkenes if we consider total 5 alkenes possible. So, answer is 5.